of Haunted Ohio Farms. The Hicks Farm in Pleasantville is a seemingly normal Ohio farm. The farm was built in 1806. There is an original log barn built in the back along with the corn crib, the tobacco barn, the servants' quarters. So there's originally 376 acres. We own the original 20 with the homestead in the center. We have a few horses, uh, some dogs and things. It's a small-scale operation. We have a few fruit trees. My wife does a lot of canning, and we have a, a, a small farmer's market. And, I don't know, it's just a typical home. But at one specific time of the year, the Hicks Farm becomes much less typical. My mom was always big into Halloween, and when she came out here, she said, you know, she liked all the barns and stuff. She was always real big into decorations, so it was a big thing for her. And daytime on the farm caters to a younger crowd. And during the daytime, it's the greatest place. I've seen so many little kids go through there and, and just, they can't find their way out, but you have to sit and laugh because they have so much fun. They have cider, pumpkins, candy bags, and they go on hay rides. But as the sun goes down on this farm, things turn from tame to terrifying, starting in the barn. It was uh, set up as a uh, livestock barn. It was uh, made for cattle and horses. It's a very large barn. There's actually uh, 7,000 square feet under roof. We've got the, the maze that's inside the barn, and it's got a bunch of monsters in it. <laughs> You always got people jumping out of you. There's someone around every corner. Something to scare you. people that have lost teeth, glasses, shoes. They scream, they drop to their knees. You see all kinds. You have kids that come in here, I'm not afraid. Well, yeah, you are. The haunted farm revolves around actual farm. It's a reality type thing. When visitors come into here, you need to actually feel like you're walking into something that could actually happen to you. It's not like um, I'm going to walk in and have Frankenstein or vampires attacking me. These are all things that happen, that could happen on a farm. Scarecrows, corn, um, old barns, not being able to find your way out in complete darkness. But even though the haunted farm is only open to the public in October, it's a year-long affair for Kim and her crew of local kids. Now, we're not talking that the haunted farm takes a month to build. There's some of these kids that have been here from January on, from last year. Most of the kids here are from FFA. There's a whole bunch of kids that have been here year after year after year, and they work very, very hard. I believe this is year seven. I'm, I'm something different every year, but uh, we decided we haven't done the clown in a couple of years. We decided to bring it back this year because, I mean, large percentage of, you know, population in the world are afraid of clowns. So, got to have a clown. Hold still. I'm trying. That is the best part of this, is to see those kids actually put their ideas into motion and they work so hard. 
And you know, they have the greatest imaginations of anybody you have ever seen. These kids work hard. I love it. Uh, I'm, I do theater stuff. You know, that's what I'm going to school for. And uh, it's just theatrics. Halloween's fun. It isn't something that's going to scare you. And on the haunted farm, it seems the Halloween spirit is contagious. Some people are very scared when they first get out of the car. Some people are skeptical, but we normally convert them to a... By the time they leave, they're normally pretty happy with their experience. It's, you know, the Halloween spirit. tiny village, 20 miles east of Dayton, Clifton is home to about 200 people. The village is best known for Clifton Mill, one of the largest water-powered grist mills still in operation. During the holidays, the mill is transformed into a magical wonderland. This festival of lights attracts thousands of visitors. Even more impressive is the natural beauty of the Clifton Gorge State Nature Preserve. The rushing headwaters of the Little Miami River have carved one of the most picturesque gorges in Ohio. Over two miles of trails reward hikers with spectacular views. Clifton is the birthplace of two notable Ohioans. Isaac Kaufman Funk of Funk and Wagner's Dictionary fame was born in Clifton in 1839. And Ohio State coaching legend Woody Hayes was born in Clifton in 1913. Natural beauty? and a simple rural charm make Clifton a small but sparkling jewel in Ohio's crown.